remove. We walk. We run. And each step requires energy. To generate this energy, a process called cellular respiration takes place in order to produce adenosine triphosphate or ATP, the energy carrying molecule that fuels our body. This process has three phases known as glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain. The food we eat is broken down in the form of simple sugars or glucose. In glycolysis, this 6-carbon compound is broken down to form two molecules of pyruvate. This cycle occurs in the cell cytoplasm and does not need oxygen. Therefore, it is anaerobic. During this phase, two molecules of ATP and two molecules of NADH, which is an electron carrier, are produced. As we enter the Krebs cycle in the mitochondrial matrix, the pyruvate is prepped to become a two-carbon compound called acetic acid, which will then be attached to coenzyme A to produce a new compound, acetyl-CoA. This time, oxygen is required, which makes it an aerobic process. As the Krebs cycle continues to harness energy from the fuel, carbon dioxide molecules are produced as waste products. This cycle is repeated twice as there are two pyruvate in one glucose molecule. Thus, two more molecules of ATP, six molecules of NADH, and two molecules of FADH2, another electron carrier, are generated. In the third stage, the electron transport chain transfers electrons from NADH and FADH2 to several electron carriers to produce a proton gradient of hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions will then power the ATP synthase, to put it simply, an enzyme that produces ATP. This stage generates the most number of ATP with a net gain of 34 molecules of ATP. Water is also produced as the hydrogen ions combine with oxygen. All in all, one glucose molecule can produce 38 ATP in total. 